Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a nice little Kubota L4740. Uh, this tractor has the Grand L cab, cab heat air, AM FM radio, LA 854 quick attach front loader with skid steer quick attach bucket. Tractor has 2,000 in a couple hours. Uh, I'll have you that when we go in the cab. It's cab heat air, um, three range hydrostatic with a, a high and low of each of those, um, stall guard, it's got sensitivity control, auto throttle, which is a super nice feature. So the more pedal you give it, the more throttle it gives it, which you can also take it out of that. Cat 1 three-point hitch, 540 PTO, uh, fully loaded up cab, suspension, cloth seat. Uh, nice size tractor here. R4 tires about 60% all the way around. Um, you know, we've had some calls already. We just put this on yesterday. Uh, we just now are getting the time to do the video. We've had some calls already on this tractor. And, hey, what's it like? You know, what, what's this like? What's that like? At the end of the day, this is a working man's tractor. It's going to have some scratches, some scrapes. Uh, typical of this year and time period of Kubota, there is some paint fade, uh, which Kubota has you know, fixed in uh, newer models. But uh, nice running working tractor. Mirror kit, rear window, uh, wiper uh, is brand new. It was bad whenever it came in. We put a brand new one of those on. All the glasses in the cab, everything in the cab is actually very nice. Floor mat, everything like that's in good condition. So let's start you underneath the hood, take you completely around this tractor. We've just put this tractor through the shop. We've done a complete service. Uh, we have done every single filter, fluid, oil, uh, all Kubota brand filters. Uh, we'll push it straight ahead. You can see underneath here, at least I hope you can, uh, powered by a Kubota uh, V2403 MDI, which is a four-cylinder uh, diesel engine used in actually in a lot of the Bobcat skid loaders. Uh, very good motor. Um, I've had some of those with five and six, seven thousand hours on them, never been touched. So, uh, four-cylinder diesel engine uh, from Kubota. So, again, we've done a complete service. Everything has been changed. Uh, we get guys all the time that say that, oh, did you really service it? And I know people follow all our videos probably think I'm uh, preaching to the choir here, but you can see everything has been serviced. I'm not trying to be smart. I mean, we take pride in servicing the stuff that we sell, and that way whenever I put something out the door, I know that I sent something out that, that is a good product. So it's not like I'm some guy just buying it at an auction sale and sending it down the road. So a couple little wee spots in the hood up here. There's one little wee ding you can see. A little hard to see. A couple little spots of paint loss. Some scratches right here. Matt showed in the pictures. Very well illustrated. Uh, a couple scratches. Uh, loader has some fade on it. Can't help that. We did paint the front bucket just because it was left with some water in it. This guy primarily had a uh, bale spear on the front of a little hobby guy had this. Um, and he used it to push some snow on his property and stuff, but it left water laying in the bucket and it just lifted the paint, so we did paint the bucket. Uh, no aftermarket welding, brakes, anything like that whatsoever. Uh, we did put a couple new decals on here just to clean it up. Up front, tighten. Uh, leave that to be the 10.16.5. It is 10.16.5. Skid loader style tire on the front, R4. In the back, tighten. 17.5. Uh, um, 24s again tires 60 to 65 percent i'm not uh, overstating anything i'm just being very honest with you what it is coming in the cab cab is very nice we're going to go ahead and show you inside the cab while we're here and then we'll go to the back <clears throat> right here where you get in out a couple little spots from your boot hitting it which that's typical of this l series tractor the cab here is the original um serial number and whatnot of the tractor still on this that's from being shipped original serial number is actually down here <clears throat> cost seat one little wee spot right there in the seat but other than that very good low medium and high cruise control four-wheel drive in and out diff lock adjustable suspension seat draft control um, of course you do have a clutch pedal which is nice in the Kubota that way you can select gears without a grinding um, coming up here we'll go ahead and turn this on yeah, of course, I'm right in the camera view. So you can see here, I'll start it. Um, we will go to display mode here for you. PTO is off. 2,078 hours. Choose um, on the service menu there. show you that works for PTO. Just showing you that's the RPM it's at. Take the PTO out. And we'll go back to hours. Tilt wheel. 
horn. This is your mode for your stall guard and auto HDS, or you can just up and down yourself uh, whenever you're on there. Uh, response, slow and fast, auto throttles right there. And then full ways turn signals. Down here is your auto throttle paddle, independent brake. 540 PTO joystick for the loader, up and down for your three point cubby hole and stuff. One nice thing on this, it has side windows that open. Up here, you got your heat, AC, AC works, front rear lights, this is your rear wiper with juicer, and it works. Uh, front windshield wiper. Foggy ID8, you can defrost. find this on your smartphone easily by downloading the Forever Radio app at iTunes or the Google Play Store for free. Cab action, my nice shape. Radio Jensen. Cab. CD player, all ducted heat. Um, again, really nice tractor. Starts and runs good. I mean, it's not a brand new tractor. All the doors, I mean, everything latches and unlatches the way it's supposed to. The mirrors are on it. I mean, it's not all bunged up, but it's not a brand new tractor either. Um, so, coming on around the back, turn the camera back over to Matt here. Door shut really good. You can see, and even the interior lights work. Uh, rear work light package. Factory top link is with it. Um, this does have the easy link on the three point hitch. Draw bar, 540 PTO is right here. Um, you can see it there. We're trying to give you the best 360 degree view we can. Tom, on a good power strike, rip on the ground, shoot it, everything it's supposed to do. Uh, we're running through all its ranges, high and low. I'll go all over here with it. We'll show you three point hitches up and down, put the PTO in so you can see it spin. I try to be, uh, go above and beyond anybody else on the internet to illustrate you know, that this tractor is what we say it is. So I'm sure there'll be a thousand people ask a million questions. I'm not being smart. I'm doing this for you, not my health. Uh, I don't really enjoy to do these videos, but I find it very very informative to what we do so that you understand that you are buying a tractor that does what i say it does so we're gonna go ahead and fire it up for you here do it uh do what we do with it
We hope you've enjoyed our video on our L4740. Keep in mind, this is pre-admissions, no particulate filter, uh, no urea, none of that garbage. Um, so this is a pre-admissions tractor. Uh, stuff like this is sought after. I try to buy this kind of stuff for myself, and unfortunately, uh, it's getting harder to come by. Um, skid steer quick attach, which is nice. You can put pallet forks on, any other type of attachment you want to, hay spear, uh, grapples, that kind of thing. Um, nice size tractor here that you can do something with, okay? It's not a compact, it, in my opinion, it's a little bigger than that, but it's uh, still classified as a compact tractor. But uh, this is something you can do something with, and especially with winter coming, you're looking to scrape uh, snow, and you're working around the house, and you want something to have 540 PTO capability that you can actually run a five or six foot brush haul, here it is. So if you have any questions on this tractor, please let us know. Keep in mind, I try to be 110% honest with you guys out there on the internet. I'm not out to hide anything. I didn't build my business on that, neither did my father. Uh, we've been here 37 years, and I hope to be here another 37 years for my kids. So um, long story short, we, we accurately represent this equipment. We had a phone call today on this tractor from a gentleman who had to keep us put in his garage and keep it clean and all this stuff. At the end of the day, it's just how I told you, this is a working man's tractor. It has scratches, it has scrapes, and I can't be any more honest than that. If you're looking for something that has 20 or 40 or 100 hours on it that's like brand new, this isn't the tractor for you. And don't take that the wrong way. Don't look at me that way as being a smart, you know what, but I'm just being honest. This tractor has scratches and, and scrapes. Again, it's still a very good tractor. It's not a piece of junk. It's not some aerosol overhaul from an auction. This was a private one owner tractor sold new here local. So if you have any questions on this tractor, I beg you to call us. So I'll be glad to help you and answer any questions that you may have. Uh, if you need a free quote, let us know on that also. Uh, we ship stuff very cheap all over the country and we're just a phone call away. Please check out our website. There's over 80 photos of this tractor that Matt has taken and put on there. Uh, it does an extraordinary job with the pictures. We try to do that because it, the pictures tell the tale. Uh, at the end of the day, the video, in my opinion, what we do here for you, uh, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't feel it had value to our business because at the end of the day, it takes us time to do this and it takes time to show a guy actually what something is. Again, you got any questions, 814-658-3066. Uh, check us out on our website, www. Uh, MarkSupplyCO.com. See us on our uh, on Machinery Trader, on Tractor House Machinery Trader, and on our uh, uh, website, and also on eBay at MarkSupply88. You think I'd have that uh, full speech rehearsed a little better? After many years I've been doing it. So, but anyhow, again, if we can help you in any way, again, I'm Nick Miller, 814-658-3066. Glad to help you. If you want to come by and see it, just uh, give us a call and set up a time, and just come on by. Thank you very much, as always, for checking out Mark Supply Company. We do value our customers. And, again, thank you very much. Have a great day, and, uh, and thanks for checking us out.